First of all, let me just agree with you. What I said, nothing matters, is a bit hard to believe. Not because it's illogical in any way. Rather, we as a species just didn't evolve in a way to be able to accept this fact. If an ant had the self-awareness to understand what humans are, how pitiful would its life be? Would it simply accept its own futility? Well, we might think that it has no other option but to do so, but uh, but is that really the truth? We as humans already know that uh, there is something called self-delusion and hubris. So would the ants not take it upon themselves to rid the world of humans because quite obviously we are in a way destroying their habitats and you know completely polluting and destroying the earth as a whole. So of course we are the villains, right? Exactly like that, even though I 99% believe what I am saying, what I am about to say, uh, I myself do not make every decision in my life while thinking about those facts. Rather, they are somewhere in the back of my head and only surface when I consciously choose to think about it. Uh, all the other times, they are just, you know, passively giving me a direction like, uh, like wind. It gives direction to a boat. But the captain, my, you know, my conscious self, it's the one that decides which direction to go by using those winds. Now this video might get a little depressing, okay? But I'll turn it around in the end. Probably. Hopefully. Anyways, let's start with reason number one. Why nothing matters? The sheer size of the universe as well as its age. The universe is about 14 billion years old and the observable universe is about 92 billion light years in diameter. That means light would take 92 years to go from one end to the other end. Well, not actually because the universe is still expanding. So even if light did start from one side, it would never actually reach the other side but just for the sake of simplicity let's say it nine it's 92 light years in diameter for reference there are about 1 billion trillion suns not planets suns as in stars and uh, we happen to live on a planet that is revolving a uh, not even on the you know a star that is not even on the larger side of the spectrum so are we really that different from an ant? Let me give you an example. In fact, it's a question. Who is the biggest mass murderer in all of history? Now, if you thought of Adolf Hitler, the architect of Holocaust, or uh, others might have guessed, you know, Joseph Stalin, the Soviet dictator, who may indeed have managed to kill even more people than Adolf Hitler, but the correct answer is, and I did not even know the name, you know, and I'm not sorry if I butcher it, Mao Zedong. Okay. He had an estimated of 45 million deaths on his hand. For reference, Hitler had about 6 million Jews, probably even more, but you know, 6 million. And while making this video, that's the first time I knew there was someone called Mao Zedong. So I had inadvertently proven my own point to myself. But see, that's no point. The point of this is that if someone like him can be this overlooked in roughly 50 years, how long before we forget Hitler? Thousand years? Doesn't seem possible. Sure, why not? 10,000 years. Maybe some people will still remember him. A million years. Come on. That's gotta be enough. If by that time we are not extinct, then we will have, uh, you know, forgotten him because there would be some other, you know, some other uh, creature who would have destroyed planets. Either way, what Hitler did would probably be forgotten in a billion years when humanity ends. Hell, even if it doesn't, even if humanity survives till the end of time, uh, how should it matter to the universe as a whole what uh, 
some dictator once did on a small planet in a small pocket of the universe that that we call milky way galaxy right so with this i'll end reason 1 with the simple line that anything and everything will be forgotten so does it matter if you still think some things matter then let me ask you two questions to whom does it matter and why do they matter and if you repeat this process i hope you will reach the same answer that i do and that is no one matters and nothing matters if you do have a different answer then do comment i'd like to see that i i would be very open minded hopefully now that was the easy part to explain the sheer the sheer size there's even a video about that pretty textbook next is the hard one that is extremely hard to believe and before you you know just close off this tab and say who doesn't have free will now bitch i'll just say keep listening to me i have some interesting points that you might like now a conversation about free will is something i've had with a lot of people in my life at the end of all those conversations i have i haven't been able to you know change my views it's not because like i'm not trying to change i would be glad to be proven wrong but it just hasn't happened yet so that's what happens my views get more cemented if you have a better explanation then sure leave it in the comments but after hearing my explanation please so to explain why free will is a lie i should start by explaining you what you are now this is a 100% scientific fact you are a bag of matter that was made from a you know star dying that is 100% fact you can check online i won't explain how it happens but it does okay so since you are indeed matter you matter <laughs> you are indeed matter you have to abide by some laws of the universe your particles just like every other particle respond to the fundamental laws and forces of nature namely gravity electromagnetism strong force and weak force also the fact that every action needs a cause like a stationary particle cannot start moving by its own unless some other particle you know acts upon it even something like quantum mechanics which is like a magical thing that can be used to do anything you know time travel go to another universe or whatever it it still has its own rules and it is probabilistic in nature as far as i'm aware i'm no expert in that the point i'm trying to make is that the universe has rules some of them we don't understand yet but there are rules we don't understand what happens inside a singularity and stuff like that but we do know that a singularity won't appear in front of you while you're watching this video or at least there's a very very tiny chance of that happening so yeah there are some rules now with those rules and a given instant of time say we have a time of instant x now with those rules and the instant x we can if we had a sufficient enough computing power and know all the rules we could calculate an instant y instance y and similarly if we had like all those rules and the instance x there might be a way to calculate the instance w or rather the instance x happened because of instance w and we i, I don't i don't think i'm explaining it properly well basically what i'm saying is that each instant happened because of the instant before it and the rules that apply to it going this way we can go back till instant a maybe even further but you know physics hasn't reached that point yet so who knows i could be wrong i could be right anyway instant a the big bang now do you understand what that means it means that for the traditional definition of free will to exist you would have to break down all those rules and if you can do that isn't that basically magic since you are breaking the rules why not create do why not do something completely illogical create a tornado in your hand or you know shoot fireballs the point is if you can break some rules why not every rule there's no logic in that there's nothing stopping you from breaking every rule if you can break one rule in the whole universe you know if you if you want if you can do that please end world hunger poverty and those stuff like that just do it please the thing i'm saying is you can believe there is free will i won't stop you from that i can't stop you from that but 
you will also have to believe that magic exists that there might be people who have so, such great free will that they can just alter the rules of the universe to create anything they want that's what you have to believe all right i've spoken for quite some time if you couldn't believe me well it's up to you i just present what i currently believe in and leave the rest to your imagination and pondering now comes the hopeful part hopefully nothing matters in the grand scheme of things but uh, have you ever i don't know played a game that you loved or watched a show that had you hoped for you know i don't know days or watched a movie or i don't know read a book that you just could not stop reading the common thing about those is that do they really matter Sure, some might leave a you know lasting impression of you, change your whole life, but uh, is that all? At least for me, a great show is something that uh, is truly fun to watch. It brings me joy, even though I know it's of no importance to the whole universe. The same is true of life. You are the main character of your own life. whether you want to believe it or not you are the one who is seeing everything from your own perspective you have your own story and everyone else well they are side characters or maybe secondary main characters who knows what but the point is they are you are the main character you are the protagonist sure sometimes life would be extremely hard but do you judge a character based on the situation the author has created for them or based on how a certain character reacts to the situation so that's what you are you are the character the situation could be completely shitty but it's up to you to react to them it's up to you to be your favorite character it will be difficult i'm not saying it it's not difficult it's it, it's definitely not easy it's it's like it's like saying become amazing it's it's obviously very difficult but you have one life according to what i believe you might believe differently you have one life you have one chance to be your favorite character you can make yourself into that character by doing what you think that character should do this is actually somewhat inspired by nietzsche's philosophy so i'm not going to take credit for this it's just my own spin on it okay do what you'd want your favorite character to do that's that's what it is then no matter what wouldn't you like to follow your character to the end of the story no matter how it gets you'd want to see your character fight you'd want to see your character overcome things you'd want to see your character you know achieve great things in life so so that you can see till the end till they have a happy ending so that's what it is that's what i'm doing living a life where i just you know no i have no actual free will i'm just watching my own story unfold hoping i stay a character i can love to the very end and i hope the same for you too